Hello, welcome. Um, my name is Ian Addison. Uh, I'm a teacher at St. John the Baptist Primary School in Hampshire. And we're going to talk to you about using Google Sites in our classroom. I'm going to give you uh, a bit of an overview of what Google Sites can do. And then they're going to show you how to do it. So please be nice to them. There's lots of you. Lots of smiles when it's them. That's fine. So we looked at you know, why using Google Sites in our classroom. And basically, it was very easy to use. It took about 15 minutes of teaching time to show how to make pages, link things, add pictures, videos, and so on. And the children were away saying, I've just found out you can do this, and I've just looked at this button as well. So they were then teaching us how to do it. We don't need to be the ones that know it all. They were quite happy showing us as well, which is great. It combines all the things like text and images and videos and anything else that you want to add. Uh, and they've been able to combine that. Also, we use lots of free tools, things like Animoto and Photopeach and other tools that are out on the web. And we can embed those into Google Sites with a few clicks. And, and the girls were quite happy to do that. And lots of children across the school have been exploring the different um, options with that too. What you can also do with Google Sites is you choose who sees it. So when I say website, you automatically think everyone in the world will see this website. But we start with a website that just I can see. Then I share it with my teacher or with my friend or with the rest of the people on my table. And you can choose who can see that website. So it looks and acts and feels like a website, but it might just be just those two that can see it, which is very, very useful and very handy. Then when it's amazing, they then ask me and then we publish it out to the whole world. And some people look and most of you have ignored it, but some people will go and have a look at the websites we've made. We've used it at school for a few different ways. Um, this is sort of the ways I've used it as a teacher. We've got uh, things like our online Google Apps Cloudy VLE thing, which probably needs a shorter name, but that will do for now. And we've made a Google Apps page uh, on here. And this is done through Google Sites. And I'm able to choose certain pages that certain people can edit. So the girls are going to talk about a newsletter that they make. And the girls have got access to edit one page on this school site, but nothing else. And it's just those children that can do that. Uh, what I can also do, if I go back to my presentation, um, we've also used it for things like our home learning, uh, ICT planning site that I've done recently. We've used that through Google Apps and Google Sites. Because again, it's the sharing. I can say that actually the, the early years part of the ICT planning site, I've got no idea how to do early years. I'm, I am a primary school teacher, but early years are a bit scary. Um, so I've got some other people to help me out with the early years page. And I've opened it up so they've shared that website just for that one page. And this is all online, and you can all go and have a look, and that, that's available on there. Let me just uh, go back to there again. Sorry, I'm not used to a Mac, which is why I keep going back in and out. Um, other things that we've done, we've got things, like I said, home learning on there. But when it comes to actually using it within the lesson, what we've, what we've done with children is we've looked at maybe an area of our topic. So the year three, fours made one about their local area, and they took cameras out into the village. They took some photos. They recorded some interviews with villagers, which sounds weird when you say it. Um, but they interviewed people. They filmed some people. And then we put it all together as a site and as a little portfolio of their work uh, from their trip out into the local area. We've also, we could use it for your school council or for a club. You can embed things like calendars and maps. So if you've got, you know, for girls football, you could have a calendar showing the, the, um, the dates of the, uh, the matches that are coming up. And it's just then available just to the girls that need to see it. So, lot, you know, it's very, very simple to use um, for those sort of things. We've also starting to trial um, looking at ways of using it as a portfolio. So we give the children at the start of year three, here's a website all about you. And then they can add their work. They can add links. They can st scan stuff in. And when they leave our school, there's a website of their work over the, over the past few years. Luckily, our secondary school have just gone on to Google Apps as well, because we did. Um, and now they can start to use that portfolio and carry on into year seven and eight and so on uh, as they go through secondary school as well. So really, really nice ways of using it. What I'm going to do now, though, is rather than me waffle on about what we can do with it. I'm going to show you how to make a website. And I'm going to hand over to Grace and Sophie. Like I said, please bear with them. There are lots of you here. And it is a little bit nervous, especially when half of you have got phones like this pointing at me. And there's a big camera there. So uh, I'm going to hand over to the girls now. And they're going to show you how to make a website. Off you go. Hello. Hello. Hello, and welcome to
welcome to our presentation on Google Sites. I'm Grace and that's Sophie and we're going to show you how easy making a website on Google Sites really is. Now we're going to do this by make, trying to make a website in less than 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on our first page which is the Google Sites first page. Sophie's just going to click on the link there. And we're going to click on Create. Now you can see all of the um, sites which Sophie has made previously, and um, which you can just quite easily click on and see them and share them with other people. So we're going to click on Create to make a new website. So Sophie can name her website. So she's going to call it Bet uh, 20, as that 2012, <laughs> which is the one which, because this is the year of yeah. So she's going to click on create and it will take her to a completely blank website which has absolutely nothing on it, which looks really boring. So she's going to add some text by quite easily clicking the button which has got edit page on it. Um, it's not on there. It's the bad <laughs> so... Sorry about that. We're not used to using a MacBook, and so we're just having a few problems. Mr. Addison's just going to fix that. Thank you. Sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, this will work. <laughs> so, sorry. And it's appeared. So, Sophie's going to click on the little pencil button, which is also known as edit page. And she can quite easily just type in some text, which basically just you just click on the text box. But normally, the text box, is, box will be automatically selected. But if you're not on it and you're doing, and if you want to change which the text box you're typing in, then you just click on a different one. So she's just going to put in some text. Sorry, bad spellings. Um, so then she's going to click on insert and image and she can quite easily add a photo so um, she's going to click on choose file which is all of our files which um, we've bought some pictures on a memory stick which um, which are basically of our animation day where we made lots of animations um, okay um, you normally can do that but we can't but there's no space on the computer for the USB stick, so that's not going to work. But if you were to, you'd click on um, Choose File. Um, so if you could please bring that up. You would click on, so Insert, Image, Choose File, and it would take you to your photos. You just click on that and then press OK. But sadly, we can't do that today. Sorry about that. Now, she's going to click on Save. And we're thinking that the white background is a little bit boring, so we're going to click on More and, man and Manage Site, and it will take us to this page. And also and click on Themes. So we have all these themes. We can choose one. Now, on the, when you get on the page where you type in um, what you want to name your site, it also gives you the option to change your template or your or the color, but we're try choosing this way as it's, we just find this a bit easier. Now you can just choose any theme, there's hundreds of them as you just saw, to just basically to go with the mood of your website. So we also want to add a new page, so we're going to click on the little page button and the add, and we're going to name the page. So we're going to call it finished, and click create, it's just like when you name your website. So you will be taken onto your new page, now, um, we're going to add a um, video of our animations, which we made. Now, Sophie's going to just type in the one which we, which we made ourselves. And um, it should just come up now. And she's going to just click on it, like if you are viewing a website, if viewing a video on YouTube. Now, she, all you need to do is click on Share. And it will show you the link. So you can copy that. Um, okay, so you can copy that link quite just by clicking the right button. 
And then you can go, and then you just need to press insert, video, YouTube video, and paste the link to your website or the URL and click save. Now it will just appear on your website and I know I say appear and that sounds a little bit unprofessional, but it really is like that. It does just quite easily just appear on your website. So we're also gonna add a link which uh, is as easy as pie. So she's going to click on, she's going to write, she can write underneath the video, this is a video, and she's going to write go the word Google. So um, on her website. And she's, and she's g then, so Sophie's just going to type in the word Google. Aren't you so so she's going to go on the website she wants to link and copy that in advance, but you, can't, you don't have to do that. You can do it whichever way you want. So you can also go onto your website and you write in the word Google and you highlight it and you click on the link button, which looks like a little chain up there. And click on web address and paste the link. And there you go. Now you don't have to use the actual web page that it is. You can use, you can press, you can make the link any word that you would like to. You can make it press here or as we did Google or really anything. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you a website which we've been making over the past, um, I think a few weeks, a few months uh, called FYF. So Sophie's just going to click on the link here, and we'll take it to you. And it, it really proves that, um, that these are just so easy to make. I mean, if us children can make it, I guess any adult could probably make it too. So, so um, here is our website. As Mr. Edison said, this is on our St. John's Ups, and this is the page which we're in charge of. So we have our game, which we've embedded, a cool puzzle and a video and some songs. So, um, we do this every week, and we can we have the links to the uh, other issues right at the bottom. So which isn't working, but that but this was our first one. So on, if you went on any other issue, you would be able to find exactly the same thing apart from our Christmas issue, which had some directions to make things like snowflakes and stuff for, for the children in our school. So um, Sophie is going to talk to you now, just to show you around our website, really. At the top, we have some news from the school in that week, and you can read it and if you click on the links, you can see what it's been talking about, on, and it'll take you to the blog. And then if you go down, you can see that there's the game, which you can play. And then you go down, and there's a puzzle that you can interact with, because you can click on one of the words. You can try, and you can click on one of the words, and then you can highlight it and you can try and get which, try and get it. Then if you scroll down, scroll down, you have a video. It's usually just a really strange video that we find from YouTube and we just like, so we just put it on there. Oh. And then the next, down there, it's song. We have songs every week. And that's it, really. Um, if you have any questions, either ask them now, ask our teacher, Mr. Allison, or ask anybody with a Google T-shirt on. So is there any questions? Oh. Yes. Lots of practice <laughs> with Mr. Lots, Allison. Lots of practice. Lots of lunch times this week, isn't it? Lots of, so. lots of lunch times. Can we give the girls Thank a round you. of applause? It's been fantastic. Thank you very much, girls. Well done.